Hey guys, for this video, um, I got a comment from 12 Chinny just wanting some instruction with Newman projections. So what I decided to do was make a video um, with ethane. Ethane is the simplest molecule you can uh, give an example with in regards to Newman projections. But I think if you can understand how ethane works, you'll be able to apply that the fundamentals to bigger molecules. And I'll, I'll probably show some examples of bigger molecules in the future, but for this video I'm just going to do ethane. So ethane is C2H6, and I drew that, or I wrote it out over here. Um, and a Newman projection is basically going to look at the, sh the, the whole structure from one um, carbon to carbon bond. But I think it's better to visualize that with a model. Unfortunately, I don't have any models but I did try to make one with some markers and a f and uh and some paper <laughs> so that's my this is my model right here uh, as you can see uh the black cap is representing one carbon the green cap is representing another one and the triangles coming off of it are just hydrogens they're supposed to be hydrogens um I hope you guys can visualize that. So say this is my ethane molecule, and I look at it from this way. I look at it like that. Um, I can see one carbon, and I can see one, two, three hydrogens coming off of that carbon. I can't see the back carbon, but I can see the three hydrogens that are coming off of that carbon in the back. Here's one, here's another, here's a third. Um, and, and a Newman projection is basically depicting that. Looking at a carbon-carbon bond from from the top. Um, so let me draw out a Newman projection of ethane. Um, my black carbon was in the back so this is going to be my black carbon and it had three hydrogens coming off of it that we could see. We couldn't see the carbon but we could see the three hydrogens coming off of it and in the front we could see the carbon and the three hydrogens and it was like that. This position where you can see all of these, it's known as a staggered state. And the six bonds, the six carbon to hydrogen bonds, are as far away from each other as possible. Um, and that, that leaves, leads to a really stable conformer. Um, this is known as, as being staggered. And you, and you usually want your your uh, conformer to be in a staggered state but on a test they'll probably ask you to draw all the states within a con uh, within a molecules conformers so let's say I took that ethane in its staggered state and I rotated the front carbon so here's my staggered state you can see the hydrogens are away from each other and I rotate that front carbon. Now, as you can see, you can't. Now you can barely see the back, the carbons in the back. Um, that's known as an eclipse state, and the Newman projection uh, depicts that. So, I had my black carbon in the back, and I didn't. I didn't move it, so all my hydrogens are going to stay the same but I did move my front carbon I rotated it by 60 degrees let's say 60 degrees and it turned out like this my hydrogens are basically covering the, hyd the hydrogens from the front are basically covering the hydrogens in the back that's known as an eclipsed eclipse state and eclipse states are always going to be higher in energy than staggered states because this hydrogen hydrogen um, interaction uh, it's it's repulse it's a repulsive uh, force so it's creating a higher energy state molecule um, that's why if you ever see an energy diagram you may see at the staggered level it's at an energy minima but then when it gets to an eclipse state it goes up to a maxima. And um, if you look in your book, you can find the energy that's uh, acquired from each hydrogen-hydrogen interaction. It's known as torsional strain. 
and for for each hydrogen hydrogen interaction it's there's four kilojoules per mole of energy and that would be for this molecule in its eclipse state there'd be one two three interactions three times four would be twelve kilojoules per mole so now if I uh, if I uh, rotated it again by uh, by 60 degrees so this is that eclipse state that it's in if I rotate my front carbon again now it's back to its staggered state um, and let me draw that out let me erase this my back carbon still same thing I didn't move it so it has hydrogens coming off of it and my front carbon I moved it and it's back to this it's back to a staggered state the hydrogen hydrogen interactions are as far away as possible and it is in a favorable energy state uh, that's really all Newman projections do. That's, they're just sh a way of depicting different energy states because with a, with a single, single bond there's rotation about, about the bond and um, we just want to depict what, what, which, which way will it always be, wh which way will you see it mostly um, in nature. They're always flipping and turning and so you can't really isolate any single one but that's really it for Newman projections it's just you keep turning at 60 degrees and, and seeing which one is more stable based on the interactions that occur and you always want a, a staggered state over an eclipse state um, I hope that helps um, if you need some some more clarity I don't know if my little visual aid helped at all um, I hope it did. Um, yeah, so if, if you need a better explanation or something, or, or you want to see a, a better example, uh, a more complex example, please let me know. I hope this helps. Good luck.